I want to thank you all for coming out here today. We're really very excited. You know, we here in Brooklyn are very, very lucky. Uh, we have some really terrific sanitation depots over here, but there's no question in my personal experience and opinion that Brooklyn 12 is really the best that we got. These are some of the hardest working folks in the city. They work overtime. For those of you who are not familiar with our conditions, we've got religious holidays. We have a holiday where actually you're required to manufacture garbage before the holiday while you're cleaning up. And these are the good folks who are actually uh, in charge of actually uh, getting that stuff out there. And so, you know, first I want to thank the commissioner for coming out here. The commissioner is somebody who understands, someone who literally started from the bottom up. Uh, I think he actually still has his, his office, the first room he used uh, when he first got on the job. And he's somebody who's really committed to the city of New York, and I'm really thrilled to have him out here. And of course, I'm thrilled to have Deputy Chief Tito here with us. And uh, of course, we have uh, Chief Priester and uh, our good friend, Superintendent Proposal, who's here as well. And what we've done here today is we're investing. You know, it's the old saying, put your money where your mouth is. A lot of elected officials like to complain, but they don't want to do anything but complain. I like to complain, I admit it, it's true, but I also like to do things about it. So after I had some concerns, I met with the uh, commissioner, the commissioner said, let's do something about it. And so together we worked together, we came up with an idea of buying these two holsters. And the holsters are a great vehicle, but not only are they fun to drive, I know this because during the snowstorm, everybody would walk in and say, can I drive a holster? So I know the insiders all like to drive holsters. Right about that, right? They like the holsters. But, but more importantly, year round, it actually helps the community. It helps keep clean uh, during the summer. You can actually dump trash on the back. And during the winter, obviously, you have these terrific, uh, terrific snow plows. And also, they're really the most effective for smaller blocks and for dead end streets. And so, this was an investment that we made that I secured over $300,000 for budget. And uh, I hope to encourage many of my colleagues uh, to do the same because I think we need to invest in the sanitation department because it really is the greatest sanitation department in the country the hardest working men and women uh, that are out there. And of course, I want to thank Maria Termini as well, some of who working very closely in the commissioner's office uh, for her great work. So I want to thank you all for coming out here. I want to thank the sanitation department. I especially want to thank the commissioner uh, for his willingness to work with community officials and local elected leaders. And he really does. I mean, he'll call me the commissioner, and I know this is going to sound crazy to folks, he knows which are the cleanest and dirtiest blocks in this district. That's how well he knows it. I know that because he called me and said, hey, you know we have a problem with 52nd Street? He's like, you're the commissioner. What do you call him on 52nd Street for? He knows it. He reaches out to us. He works with us. It's a terrific relationship. We're very proud to be here today to inaugurate uh, these two new trucks that we were able to purchase for the community. So without further ado, I give you the sanitation commissioner. Well, I want to thank uh, Councilman Greenfield for uh, what he's done. I mean, today is just one small expression of what he thinks about sanitation and the number of departments he talked about in this district that provide the services to the community he represents. But you know, he said also that he put his the money where his mouth is. You know, he didn't go out and complain and he does once in a while, but not that often. We usually work it out. But he came out here and says, look, I'm gonna help you out. I know you need some equipment for the snow and I know you need some equipment for a street plane. And I'm gonna help you. And he bought these two pieces of equipment which are very versatile. And uh, we're really pleased to have them in the department. The, uh, the men in the offices of the district here are uh, happy to have them. And it's a, it's a great end to get this provide the services uh, for this community. So I want to again thank the councilman for what he's done here. Not only today what he does, but what he does all year round for the community. And things we work on together in, in this community from a sanitation point of view. It, it's, it's always been rewarding and it's a pleasure to work with. So I want to thank him. And today, we, I have the honor of giving you the official key, a little bit big, but don't worry, it works, uh, for the sanitation trucks. I'm going to walk around the city, walking from truck to truck to see which ones I can start now. <laughs> it's very exciting. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay.